Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small video on how to boost your FPS and Teeny Tina's uh, Wonderland, a brand new game from Gearbox. For me, it's kind of well optimized. It's not like great, but if you compare it with the launch of Borderland 3 like a couple of years ago, it's a lot better. So uh, we're going to start with some optimization with Windows. We're going to talk after that image scaling with technologies from Radeon and NVIDIA. And after that, we will go inside of the game. So the first thing that you need to do is search for your game mode. Make sure that your game mode is at on for the past six months. It's pretty good. Honestly, they did a lot of work with it and definitely you should use it. For the Xbox game bar, I recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, lose, loss of FPS and stuff like that. So don't use it. And for capture, make sure that all the capture are at off. If you have an NVIDIA card, uh, 1000 series or more recent, write graphic setting in your search. Make sure that your hardware accelerated G GPU scheduling, sorry, is at on. You will need to restart your computer. It helps with bottleneck uh, video cards like the 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, 2060, a uh, card like that, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost in your FPS. If you have something stronger, you will not see the difference with the hardware accelerated GPU. Another thing that I recommend is your driver. Make sure that you have the latest version of Radeon software or the one from NVIDIA. Uh, it's a pretty big game, this one, so they have dedicated driver for it. So always make sure that you have the latest driver. It will help with your FPS and also stability issue that you can have. Uh, another thing is your profile, right? Energy, go to your power option. You will uh, have a custom profile from Windows. So you have balance and high performance. You should use whatever uh, the one that you liked. Uh, make sure that you don't use power saver. Um, when you're using a desktop computer, you will not necessarily have this issue. By default, it will be at balance and it's fine. It's more for people who's using a laptop and you plug and plug from the wall. And sometimes it's stuck at power saver even when you plugged in. So you don't want to do that. So use something like balance or high performance. Another thing that I recommend is the image scaling. So for an example, Radian, they have the Radian Super Resolution car called RSR. And if you have an NVIDIA card, I have a dedicated video on my channel also. It's a NVIDIA image scaling, so NIS. Um, and it's honestly for the quality, it's pretty much the same. So the only thing that you need to do is enable this. And after that, for an example, I'm going to use my example. I have a 2K monitor. So normally I run 2K native. So I open my game, I downgrade the resolution at 1080p, and the software will make sure that it's upscaling back at 2K. So the goal here is to gain FPS because you, you downgrade the resolution from the game, but the upscaling will work to make sure that you're still running 2K and you're getting FPS. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I have dedicated video, like I said, for Radian and NVIDIA. Uh, you can expect a 15 to 20% boost. And if you're doing something like 4K to 1080p, you can even expect 40% boost in your FPS. Don't be greedy. I don't like the 4K to 1080p. Honestly, the image quality decreased too much. But honestly, 4K to 2K or 2K to 1080p, it's pretty good. You don't necessarily see the difference. So this is something I really recommend to use if you're struggling with your FPS. If you don't struggle with your FPS, just play native, it will be better. So this is pretty much it for this. Also, I have a couple of guides for overclocking GPU and CPU on my uh, channel uh, with the Radiant software or MSI Afterburner if you have an NVIDIA card. It's pretty easy. It really depends on your thermal, the, the component that you are using, but you can gain a couple of FPS also with that. So now let's go inside of the game. So now the graphics settings. So first of all, the API, uh, I recommend to go with DirectX 12 uh, if you have something recent. If you have a very old car like Series 700, 800, or even 900 with uh, NVIDIA, uh, go with DirectX 11. It will be better for you guys. Uh, but if you have something more recent, go with DirectX 12. Display, it's pretty much your display. Uh, display mode, super important to use. Sorry, I just changed it. Display mode, super important to use full screen. First of all, it's better for your game, FPS, stuttering. And also, if you want to use the image scaling from Radian, you need to be full screen. So, super important to use that. Uh, expect ratio 16 by 9. Uh, it, it's just like depending on your monitor. If you use an ultra wide and something like that, you will change it over there. Uh, resolution. 
this is pretty much where you change it. Me, I'm playing native, always play native. But if you, you're, you are using the image scaling, this is where you will lower your resolution. Vertical sync, I'm not using it. I'm using free sync on my monitor. So if you have free sync or G sync, just put vertical sync at off. But uh, if you don't have this technology and you have a lot of tearing in your image, uh, put your vertical sync at on. It will add a little bit of input lag, but honestly, for a game like that, it's not a huge deal. Resolution scale, don't touch it. Stay at 100. You can limit your frame rate. I'm really making it at 168 because I want to stay in my free sync range. Uh, so that's why uh, my um, my monitor is compatible until 170 hertz. So that's why I'm locking it at 168. Sometimes also it can be good for you guys to lock your FPS uh, because you don't want to generate too much heat in your computer because sometimes you can have like throttling on your CPU, GPU. Uh, if you're playing on a laptop or something like not really well cooled. Uh, but this is a way that it can help a little bit with stuttering. Field of view, I'm using 100. Uh, don't go too high if you have a low end machine. Um, go with something like 90. It will be better for your FPS because more you have field of view, more you will render in front of you. Now the graphic setting. The first one, just put medium. Uh, and after that, we will change everything else. It's just to, to you know, to set your stuff. And Kelly is normally in some games. I always say just re removing it, uh, it add blurry and stuff like that. But in this game, you will see a lot of aliasing. So I recommend to go minimum with FXAA. And if you have the FPS, just go with temporal. But FXAA will help you. Texture streaming, not a huge deal. If you have more than six gig of VRAM, go with Ultra, four gig I. 3 gig medium and less than 3 gig go with low for material quality i recommend medium between low and medium i didn't see any difference in my fps and my image quality was better uh but after that if you go to i you will lose two to three percent in your fps anisotropic filtering uh this one you all the modern car can pretty much do 8x or even 16x so again not a huge deal uh if you have something very very old you can definitely go to 4x Shadow, this is pretty much the parameter that will give you the most boost in your FPS. If I compare ultra to low, you can expect a nice 20% 20, 20 boost in your FPS. So really cool to, to just put this one at low. If you feel that your game is too flat, go at medium. It will help a little bit. You will lose 4% in your FPS, but uh, still it will be a little bit better for Shadow. I recommend to use a display stat all when you're testing your graphic parameter. You will have a nice display FPS here. MS for your CPU and MS for your GPU. After that, environment, this one will take a lot of resources, draw distance. It's like further you can see and everything will be rendered. If you go ultra, you will lose a ton of FPS. So for this game, I recommend to play at medium. Clutter, tier in detail and foliage, I recommend to go with medium for them. If you're struggling with your FPS, you can definitely go at low for foliage. But as you can see, behind you know my scene um foliage at low will look very flat you will not add any grass when you play the game so depending on where you are if you're playing on an integrate video card on your cpu for sure i recommend low but it's a question of per preference here volumetric fog i recommend to go with low this one's taking a lot of resources if i compare ultra to low you can expect a nice 20 not 20 so, sorry 12 person boost in your fps Screen space reflection, you can easily use this one at medium, so no problem with that. Character detail, not a huge difference between, honestly, low, medium, and high, so I recommend to go with high. Don't go to ultra, you will see a dip in your FPS, but high seems to be the way to go for this one. After that, the post-processing. Ambient inclusion, if you put it at low, you can expect a nice 11% boost in your FPS, but your game, again, will look flat, so I recommend something like medium, I saw a difference of 3% boost in um, low versus medium, but you will see a big uh, difference in your image quality. So that's why I recommend to go with medium. After that, you have camera, camera motion blur off, object motion off, and sharpening off. The, the game is already like very sharp, so uh, I'm not using the Fidelity FX sharpening. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any question about uh, this guy, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.